welcome back to an um, weekly it's Sunday I'm in Yorkshire my bedroom is a total tip as always but it's because I've been filming so I use this room at home as like a film studio <laughs> literally it's like constantly set up as a film studio much to my family's annoyance I think they hate me <laughs> um it's very annoying for them that it's constantly like this but it is what it is, as I would say on Love Island. So I just woke up Sunday in Yorkshire. It's my final day here. <laughs> say bye to the motherland. Um, I'm super excited because I'm seeing my grandparents today. We're going to go for some lunch and it's literally the first time I've seen them in so long. So I'm very, very excited about that. Um, you'll notice that I've got no makeup on, but look, I have a face tan and I'm loving it. So I always get asked about my tanning routine. I thought I'd do a little updated one. Um, and just show you some amazing products I've been using at the moment. Look at that glow. It's like a nice kind of healthy supernatural glow. Um, so I filmed this last night, so I'm going to whip back to last night just because I always kind of tan before bed. Um, so I hope you like this little routine. Look at the glow. It's just a nice little natural glow. And I'm really sorry about my messy bedroom. <laughs> I'm currently in talks to get something organised housewise so that I don't have to destroy my mum's house every single time I come home because, yeah, it's just my bedroom's so much nicer for filming in Yorkshire and obviously there's no space in London and also the light's just really not that great. Um, I hate doing my hauls and stuff in London. <laughs> I'd much rather, like, come home and do everything. But on the bright tonight, can't wait to see my grandparents today. So I am going to quickly flip back to last night show you the tannage happening. So these are the products I'm gonna be showing you, talking through and using. This one, which I'm really, really, really excited about. This is a H2O Tan Drops body. I mean, I love the bottle, it's so premium. This is basically tinted H2O Tan Drops and you add this into your moisturizer. And I watched some people doing this on YouTube and I was like, I need to try these. So I'm trying to get much better at moisturizing my body anyway. And this is great because you can add this into your moisturizer and with it being a water-based formula, it doesn't interfere with your body moisturizer. It's perfect. You'll see when I apply it, but it comes out as a natural caramel so it gives an instant subtle sheen and a nice guide colour for application as well because one of the things people always say to me about fake tan is they actually like to see the colour come out because they're a bit scared otherwise um, so that's really nice um, and it also has aloe vera and hyaluronic acid to help prevent dryness. I love that James Reed products always use such good ingredients inside um, so I'm really excited with this. I think the other thing to note about this is if you are someone who's maybe scared of fake tanning, this is great because you can put a lot of drops on or just go for a few so it's completely up to you. This one which I'm sure you've all seen me talk about before is the H2O Tan Drops Face. I have been using this for years and years and I feel like it actually needs no introduction. Comment below and let me know if you have used this before. I feel like you guys should have done. So again water-based formula it means it doesn't interfere with your daily skincare which is perfect. Um, it uses water, aloe vera and hyaluronic acid and it works together which creates a flawless glowing complexion with no streaks. I've never had any streaks with this. It just makes me wake up so 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 glowing. We all know that I like to be super dark and I think that's why I love this so so much for my face. It's something that firstly doesn't break me out and I always worry that things are going to break me out when it's a tan on my face but because this is a high precision dosage which would explain why it gives me such such, such a good nice deep but natural glow on my skin. Obviously it's got made to measure results so just put as many drops or as little as you wish. One hello baby another one that you've probably seen me using on my vlogs. This is my cheetah tan because sometimes when I don't want to tan my whole body I grab this and I literally just spray my chest or my hands, give myself a bit of a builder's tan or my face. I mean it's not designed for that, it's designed to be a face mist but because it's a mist I find it comes out so perfectly and it doesn't leave you with any streaks at at all. I honestly think it's amazing. Gives such a radiant glow and it's also perfect for summer. Also, I was told that the model Rosie Huntington Whiteley uses this. Top tip, pop this in the fridge and then spray it. You can spray it over makeup and then you'll just tan or spray it before bed. It's insane. And like I say, I like to use it just to like cheat my tan when I can't be bothered and just tan my arms or face. It's got loads of skin loving vitamins and minerals in it as well. It's also stain free and colourless so it's not going to ruin your gorgeous silk pillowcases or your bed linen. I always pop this on before bed so yeah. It's been a long day hence the um, horrendous marks on my face. This makeup off. I'm going to use this which is new. Oh my gosh I'm so excited. This was gifted. Bobbi Brown Makeup Melter and Cleanser with Goji Berry Extract, Sugar Beet and Algae Extract. This sounds amazing. A foam. So as much as you can spray those fake tan products over makeup, 
throughout the day or something tan glow and cool i just today i'm going to apply it before bed onto clean skin oh i am putting this on my eyes i don't know if this actually gets rid of eye makeup i've got really swollen glands and here really feels bruised when i touch it i hope that doesn't mean i'm coming down with something honestly this hurts so much okay i'm going down to wash guys let's just put this on <laughs> okay for a second cleanse because i never just do one cleanse i'm gonna use temple spa in the beginning a little melt melt that makeup and grind <laughs> from the day all oh, i'm going down again pesky eye makeup off oh, quickly get rid of that I'm just using these up that i bought in china so anyone ever heard of a shop miniso um they turned flannels and it turned into a legit flannel <laughs> I'm gonna put some Charlotte Tilbury, take it all off, genius eye remover on my little flannel. And then I'm just gonna tone with some Sanaflor Aqua Magnifica. Pat that on the face for impurities. My mum was saying today that she loves Sanaflor and that she's in love with one of their cleansers. So I have trained her up. It's a great natural brand. So I've got my H2O Gradual Tan Drops Body and I've also got my moisturiser and you can basically put as many drops as you want, I guess. I mean, for like a darker tan, I've been doing six to eight, sometimes a few more drops, but obviously the best thing about it is it's completely up to you how many you want to do. So you can always trial it. So it comes out a little pipette and I love it because I think that's really premium but it also means that you're not going to put too much on and you can see it's a gorgeous like caramel colour so I'm going to literally mix that up now so I got my moisturiser in my hand just remember if you are going to do this on with your hands just make sure you wash your hands after it's really that easy get my little James Reed get it out I think sometimes these things can look scarier than they are but you literally just do this look how easy this is and then we're going to drop in as many drops as I want. So two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Oh, it smells so divine as well. I love that. It doesn't smell bad. Give that a little mixy mix. I'm kind of like a scientist. Like a fake tan scientist. So just as you would normally moisturise, that's literally how easy it is. Body done, dried super, super quickly. I'm not sticky at all, which is perfect because it means that I'm also doing this about an hour and a half, two hours before bed to let it set. Not that it takes long to set, but with the heat at the moment, that's how I've been tackling the whole fake tan thing. I don't want to sweat it off. So for the face now, so I have a clean face and these are the gradual h dry tan drops. I've been using these for such a long time. Put as many drops in as you want. No, don't. You're meant to do like, I don't know, about four four-ish I would say maybe six Um, you can drop it in with your normal moisturizer drop it in with your nor normal serum so I'm going to drop it in with this little one Beauty Pie Q1 Energy Um, it's just a really nice moisturizer and like I said it's water based so it doesn't interfere with your skincare which is great which is probably why my skin agrees with it so much which is always a nice little bonus when your skin agrees it just makes sure as I said, you wash your hands with soapy water, um, just your palms, or just get like a wet flannel, pop some soap and some soapy water on it and just clean your palms. Super easy. I honestly, you can use this every night and really build it and I think that's why I like it. I always have a tan drops just next to my skincare, just as a little reminder to pop it on with my skincare and then I wake up glowing. It's great because I go to the gym a lot and I don't often wear makeup to the gym and I do feel more confident personally. I know you shouldn't need tan to feel confident but it's a personal thing. Um, pull that all the way down to the neck. I love that this has skincare properties in it so I know it's good for my skin as well. I just ate a pack of hippies in between filming this because even though it's bedtime I was so hungry. Real life guys, real life. Okay so then my final fake tan hack that I want to tell you is this so this again is usually on my bedside table i love mists because i just feel like they're going so much better so 
This is a face mist, but this is the one that I said you can cheat with and you can pop it in the fridge. Again, I don't think you're meant to do that. Don't quote me on it, but it makes it so much cooler on the hot days. You can just spray it over your makeup or spray it now, like before bed. So you would literally just stand and spray. It goes on so evenly. It smells so good. No horrible fake tan smells. Won't get on your silk pillowcase. I use a slip silk pillowcase, which I'm obsessed with. Don't want to ruin it. Just literally like this. Let it dry. Do another coat. I've used this on my boyfriend. He likes it too. And then my hack is that if you want to look really nice and bronze the next morning, but you do not have time to do your tan or you just can't be bothered because it is a process. Um, literally get this. Do that. Do your chest, shoulders as well if you want. Do your hands. And then it just sets nice and evenly. Do a few layers, maybe two, three, four. Depends how dark you want to go. And you'll wake up glowing without having to tan your whole body. Great in winter if you're wearing a roll neck. What I would say is I always shave at least 24 hours before. I exfoliate 24 hours before. I do all of that before so that my pores are closed. And then I tan. I go eat, sleep, rave, repeat. No, I'm not. I'm literally just going to go eat and sleep. Um, so I will see you guys in the morning. I'm going to head back to Sunday now. I hope that you can see from the before and after that I'm just really nice and naturally glowing. I just feel like I look healthier and I feel way more confident. So I'm going to go downstairs, I'm going to grab some breakfast, I'm going to do with editing and then I'm heading out for lunch so I need to get ready. I'm just getting ready to go to lunch and I just have to tell you about this lip balm that was kindly gifted. Um, it's insane, they gave me a discount code, which I'll leave on the screen if you wanna use it. This part of the video is not sponsored. Actually by Love Island and it's insane. Gives the most insane, natural, gloss. Like I'm literally in love with it. Selling that, but I just had to tell you guys. Public service announcement. dress and a rush but I'm ready now. Wearing this dress, just got into the city centre to go for some food. This is a dress that I can't stop wearing, you might have seen it on my haul last week. Yeah, going to go see my grandparents and the lady that always says it's easy she's leaving. So we've got a little present for her as well, which I'm very excited to give her. It's Monday, I'm back in London. I got a train to Matt's house last night, his family home, and then he drove me to London wearing this dress again. <gasps> look who's here, gang's here. Hey. The house is a mess, but look who's here. <gasps> hello, princess. <laughs> She's had a haircut. Say hello. <gasps> Oh my goodness. By the way, Georgie, my mum rung me this morning to say that she's been doing your GS method workouts. <gasps> my mum's been doing your mummy's workouts. <gasps> she's been doing workouts. Oh, hello, gorgeous. I love you. I like dogs being a bit more fluffy, but no, her face looks gorgeous. I like that. Oh, she looks amazing. She's so cute. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I just got back. I'm so hot and sweaty and plus I need to just get naked. It's so hot in London right now. So I just went for a meeting, had loads of sushi. Did you see the food? It was so good. Look, why am I a child? I dropped sushi all down my dress like an actual idiot. I'm doing something really cool tonight. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm so excited. Just quickly wanna show you this that just arrived, which was gifted to me. Showing you guys stuff that's arrived for a while. So Lindell's do the most insane quark. It's kind of like yogurt, but it's super high protein. Fat free, low sugar, tastes so good. And I got home and this was sitting on my doorstep. This is the tastiest one in my opinion, but they're all pretty good. These aren't gonna last long because Matt will definitely, definitely eat them all. Um, with a really nice cow shed spa voucher, which I'm gonna use in Selfridges one day, which is, I feel very lucky, that's such a treat. I can't wait to see what I can get from there. Swedish, Swedish brand. And with this, oh my gosh, how lucky am I? How special from Rituals. This scrub looks amazing. And then, the thing I'm doing tonight, this cracks me up so much. It's very hot where I'm going, I'm going to Brighton. And it's so hot, so I'm gonna lay it on Factor 50, <laughs> as they say in Love Island, with this that I was kind of gifted from La Roche Posay. This one looks amazing, I love an invisible mist, and I use this one anyway. Oh, it's like a fluid that you can shake. So, I'm ready, I'm less flustered now. I am heading to Brighton because I'm a guest of Verano. They've kindly invited me to go and watch a Love Island final. Oh my goodness. They do the most amazing gin, watermelon gin. Um, you might have seen me talk about it before my own stories and I'm super excited. So they've kindly gifted me this little experience. Um, I'm taking my brother, I'm taking my friend Georgie, so we're gonna jump in a cab now. I head over to Brighton, we're gonna watch Love Island on the beach. I am so excited for this. They are huge. Guys, I'm going to the fire pit. I'm so excited. Look at this. Can you please gather round the fire pit? <laughs> <laughs> Who are we gonna get a pick with, guys? Curtis. I want one with. Wait, wait, wait. She's my favourite. Wait. Yay! Ovi! This is the closest I'm ever gonna get to Ovi. <laughs> Comment below and let me know who your favourite Love Islander is. Who's your favourite Islander? Um, God, good question. I'd say Molly May. Windy London. I'm wearing this because I'm just heading to Chelsea now to do some content that I need to do um, And then I'm gonna get some lunch afterwards I've just been tidying the house up because it's a total tip stresses me out while my house is a mess Is anyone else the same? Lipstick again is the Love Island stuff. I was gifted. It's so good I was speaking to some girls yesterday and they were like is it actually good though? And I was like yeah, it's insane. It's this combo um like, I think people think it's not going to be good because it's designed by Love Island <laughs> and they're obviously not makeup um, people. But look, it comes like this is a heart. This isn't an ad, by the way. Um, but it was gifted. And then, look, it's these two shades and it's called Coupled Up. And honestly, it comes out so nice. Look at my lips. The pigmentation on that. I'm so impressed. So yeah, that's what's on my lips. So I'm wearing this even though it's raining outside. I'm going to then head over to Chelsea um, and have some lunch. But last night was so, so, so good. Like literally incredible. I always like have not low expectations because I always think things are gonna be good. But 
I just thought last night, yeah, we'd sit on the beach and watch Love Island. I thought it would be good, but I didn't think it would be so good. It was just amazing. Perfect weather, perfect vibes. We had such good food. And we just sat watching Love Island final. Thank you to you guys who stuck by me whilst Love Island's been on, because I feel like so many of you must have unfollowed me, muted me, because I'm very annoying. <laughs> but I just love it. Also, look at this. So this is a gym brand that we went with. This is very black. I'm hoping to make some banana bread today with this. Um, it means it's sweeter. This is a gym brand we went with. So thank you so much to Verano for having me as your guest and inviting me. It was an insane experience. This is a Spanish lemons one and last night we were drinking the watermelon one, which I've already drank, but it's such good gin. You can get it in pretty much all supermarkets. Give it a quick Google, but highly recommend. Right, I need to go and eat now. This is birthday cake that Matt's mum made for Matt. Oh, the temptation not to eat all of it. Photo one, done, we just sit there. Sarch Gallery in London, my umbrella is broken. Literally, why does this always happen? Of course it's broken. How good was last night? Yeah, it was so good. My brother. Uh, <laughs> well, just being at the beach was sick. Brighton <laughs> Beach is really nice. I've been to Brighton twice, and the first time I went it rained, it was really windy, and last night I saw a whole different side to it. I understand why everyone lives in Brighton. Um, it's finally stopped raining, which is amazing. I think it's gonna start again though, so where are we going now for some food? Join the juice, yeah. Yes. I've just been to a virtual spin class at David Lowe, which is really good. Look at my bands here. Yeah. <laughs> so happy. We're going to Whole Foods to get some dinner, which I'm so excited about because Whole Foods is my favourite place ever. And I'm very sweaty right now, I'm not looking the best, but this is real life after spin. <laughs> at David Lloyd after a busy day of shooting. I always get caught in the rain every time I go to Whole Foods. So I'll show you some of the things I bought. <gasps> Whole Foods is my favorite place ever, by the way. So I got some sourdough, a huge loaf of sourdough. Um, oh, Adam's eating his Joe and the Juice little muffin from today. Joe and the Juice muffins are made out of fruit pulp and oats, so they're kind of healthy. I got myself the meal deal, which I really need to stop buying. I got turkey with um, well, I'll just show you guys. So I probably need to stop buying this meal deal thing, so I buy it most nights. <laughs> but broccoli with beans and turkey. Um, I usually actually get it with linguine, but they have turkey today, so I was like, yes. Um, and then this pasta, which looks amazing. And you can't go to Whole Foods and not get the guacamole and the tortilla chips. Insane, I'm obsessed. What else did we get? Oh, oh, it's in this bag. No, it's in this bag. Oh my gosh, we got some. Biona Organic Italian Pasta. Why have I seen this brand before, Biona? What do we buy from them? I recognise a brand and then this was on offer. This is just pure tomato. I think this could be my new tin tomatoes. I'm very excited to try this. How good. So now we're going to eat. Good morning guys. It's bright and early on. What day is it? Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Yeah, it's Wednesday. Um, I'm heading out for a day of back to back meetings today. I'm going to take you guys with me because I have a special meeting in the afternoon with a special person. I don't know how my hair survived the rain yesterday. 
bit of dip wearing this dress. And I'm actually going to walk there because I would have to leave an hour anyway to get the tube. And it's only like an hour 20 walk, so I'm going to get my steps in. It's one of those hormonal weeks where I have been bloated for like a week. I feel like I need some movement or I'm very tired. So I'm going to get my trainers on and have a little stop. This is so cool. Yeah, that's cool. Oh my god, and you can change it. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, I don't know which one I like. What do you think? Uh, I quite like this. It's quite romantic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's do romantic. And also, look, you can have, I mean, not now if you just want the. What are this, the, the emojis? You can have oh. all the emojis. This is so cool. So, all sorts of emojis. Oh my god, I love that. I'll just do M, but I do like that yeah, you can yeah, do yeah. that. Yeah, just to show you. Ooh. Oh, get rid of the one. Press, <laughs> Press play. Press play. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Wow. Oh my gosh, how amazing is that? I look very drab right now. So you just saw me in Thomas Sarbo, look at this. They engraved my name onto this for me. That was gifted. I was having a little meeting with them. Did not expect that. How special. You can get that done at their South Moulton Street store. And it's instant. How nice. Look, I'm with. The best lunch meeting ever with Betsy. So we're just in San Carlo, Roof, Terrace, and Selfridges. So excited. Catch us in my day. Bets is ready for a flight. She's an air hostess. Is that for the right word? Is flight that attendant. Flight attendant. She's air a flight attendant. Very British, is I kind of like air hostess. Um, but look how good she looks. She literally looks amazing. Just me doing a little photo shoot. She literally looks amazing. <laughs> and we made friends with the Selfridges dog guy. He's still looking at us. He's still waiting. Wait, no. <laughs> hey, wait. Wait. He's waving. We love him. <laughs> so I'm saying bye to Bets now and I'm heading back to my house. It's Thursday. Wow, it's already Thursday. I just washed my hair in the gym. I've just been to Harbour Club with David Lloyd, did a blaze class. For those of you who are new, you're probably like, what is a blaze class and why does she do them all the time? It's like a 45 minute class or a 55 minute one. And it's like boxing, it makes with strength, it makes with treadmills. People ask me about it all the time. It hurts, it's really good. Just washed my hair after the gym using Olaplex, which was kindly gifted to me at an event ages ago with Space NK. Oh, a loud car. Um, honestly, it has made my hair so soft, I swear by it. I'm just about running out of it. Um, can you hear all the noises? This is just typical London, isn't it? I get my camera out and it's like the loudest situation ever. Quiet. So it was really nice to see Betsy yesterday. I had a full day of back-to-back -back meetings, then saw Betsy. I like to cram all of my meetings into one. I also did 25,000 steps, so you don't need a gym if you want to keep fit. But I think I've like broken my ankles from it. I'm now dressed, ready. Just been doing some work after my workout. I'm now going to walk over to Knightsbridge because I have a lunch with Nyx. Um, I'm very excited because they do really nice makeup. So I'm heading to their lunch event at Restaurant Ours, which is such a nice restaurant in Knightsbridge. So I'm going to take you there. Then after that, I'm going to go home and I'm going to do a sunglasses try on haul because you should see the sunglasses that I got yesterday. Also, this is the first day in like a week that I've not felt bloated. The bloat is real. I feel like time of the month just makes me just one big bloated mess. So you are not alone if you bloat. Right, let's go.
back from my lunch, so I've had a busy day today. Went to the gym, had a lunch with NYX Cosmetics, which was amazing. We went to Restaurant R's, an insane restaurant in Knightsbridge. I got to catch up with so many lovely people, ate way too many churros, got back quite late, so now I'm, my house is a mess and I've got quite a lot of stuff to do. Thought it would be nice to show, oh, also, I'm super sweaty from the walk, hence me like just stripping off into this. I'm gonna put my hair in a pineapple in a minute, and I'm going to do a little sunglasses try and haul. Then, because I got some sunglasses kindly gifted to me yesterday from the showroom of Sunglass Hut, I'm so excited to show you what I chose for an exciting trip that I'm going on next week. So I'll show you that first, then I'll tell you about the trip, then I'll tell you about the NYX Cosmetics launch. So I feel like these ones are totally different to anything I usually go for. I usually go for rounds, but I feel like these are incredible. These are the kind of things that like Beyonce would wear. And I just actually love the cat eye effect. I love it. It says Mew Mew the side. I think these are super, super luxurious. I love these ones. Gotta mix it up sometimes. These ones are my little neutral babies. I actually love these. A little bit smaller, not as round. Love like the little bit that comes out of the side here and I love that they're like neutral. I feel like these would be amazing in autumn with like a trench or something. These are a little black pair and I never go for black sunglasses only because I'm a basic blogger bitch. And on my Instagram, I always put like reflective sunglasses and stuff, but these are so cool. These are like so sharp, so cool to wear. These are like, don't talk to me. I am blacked out. Locking out the haters with my love glasses. I just love these. I love the gold trim. I've never seen Ray-Bans like this. And I was like, oh my God, they're insane. I feel like they'd look amazing in winter actually with an all black outfit or in summer with an all white outfit. These are the exact same style of some that I wear literally every day. My blue ones that everyone always asks about. So I knew that I would love these, but I want them in more of a neutral tone. I feel like you guys will like these. They're just so easy to wear and the color is kind of like, I'd say like a mauve purpley brown, I don't know. <laughs> These are some serious Insta glasses but I love them. So when I went to Ibiza recently, I actually got some of these from um, World Duty Free, which were insane. And I got the exact same shape, the exact same size, and I love the color, I got blue ones. And then I found these and I was like, oh, I love these, this is so cool. So yeah, these are um, rabies as well. On to the launch. So this is NYX's new Bear With Me Hemp seed oil primer and basically hemp has properties that are going to soothe the skin so it's going to make you look super flawless but soothe the skin too and then these are their brow setters and lip conditioner so they're going to be super soothing really really nice and make the skin radiant this as well i think this is going to be a hero product and i'm pretty certain you can grab this from boots about my trip because you guys have been asking for more travel content and that is coming so next week on the i want to say thursday but i can't actually remember when my flight is i'm heading to thailand with a friend i've not actually organized a hotel or anything yet then i'm heading on a press trip to cambodia then i'm heading to laos i think that's how you pronounce it <laughs> so that's asia then i land for a day in london and then i'm heading back to Canada and New York. So you guys are gonna have a whole month of travel vlogs. So I hope you're excited for that. I've also got some house news that I need to tell you guys. Um, yeah, everything's happening. So tune into next week's vlog and I will give you lots of updates. Don't forget to say hi on Instagram and Twitter at MichelleX. I love you all so, so, so much. And big love.